Summer and the greeneries at the old garden are a memory. The shed is gone and we move to a new location. It's a slow relocation and rebuilding process, but we have a progress to report. You're watching Chao Huan, a channel dedicated to garden to plate experience. It's where we grow, cook, and share. Join me for a quick update on the developments at the new location. Hello, good afternoon. It's, it, the temperature reads zero degrees. It's really cold. I'm very happy because finally we've transferred our shed and I've already installed the roofing. Happy with that. I'm busy laying out the garden. <laughs> I'll show you the plants. Or I'll share you the plants. There will be a small ga gate here. There will be trellis here. Trellis and trellis and rows, rows. That's the plan. And here we've started collecting the plants. The trees even have been moved to here. And these are uh, oh wait, and these are apple trees which we will be planting here. Recreate that promenade that we had at the uh, old site. Promenade here. This will be lined with apple trees and pears, and we will be led to this area. A pergola will be built here. Pergola. Very intimate because look, this is the forest. We are uh, against the forest and we are covered by this uh, two uh, cypresses or are they conifers? I'm not sure. <laughs> For a bit of privacy. This is the extension. This is the extension which I'm still uh, busy constructing. We will be uh, shooting our cooking scene here. There will be a cook. Uh, there will be a kitchen island here. And doors that open to the guests sitting under the pergola. Windows will be installed here. Windows for a view of the forest. And the glasses are here. It's really dark and too cold to work. That's why I'll leave this for now. I'll do this next year. There's just lots of things to do. I'll work on the, on the trees first. The gutters have to be uh, replaced also. I wanted to economize, so I wanted to reuse the old materials and bonded them together with the new materials. That doesn't work. <laughs> they, don't, they don't just bond. So replacement that ends our tour today I hope you share my excitement with our new site with our new location I hope to see you more when we resume our gardening, cooking and sharing here at our new site. If you're watching this during Christmas, Merry Christmas. Before we go, I'd like to leave you a video. I look back at our five years at the old site. It warms the heart to look back. Join me. It's been approximately five years since I started this uh, project, this garden. It was, I think that was uh, February or January when I signed the contract for this plot. And on the, on the very first year, I built the house or I built the uh, shed. Uh, thanks to Junaidi who helped me hold the uh, sand and the materials to this side. The ground is soft here. That's why we had to harden it by, let's say, adding uh, sand. <laughs> it's a long hole from the gate.
might be wondering how did I start and how did I get inspired uh, gardening. Thanks to YouTube, actually. I've been watching the uh, uploads of the, uh, of the YouTubers in the UK. Uh, a shout out to uh, James Cameron, to uh, let's say Dan of Essex. I've been watching them. And I was inspired to do gardening as well and build a shed like this. Before that, I also got interested in hydroponics. That's why my first gardening uh, adventure was indoors growing salads in my <laughs> bookshop. And it was a success, really. And then I, of course, the bigger the better. That's why I uh, acquired this plot. On that very first year, upon completion of the shed, I planted this uh, apples and pears. The intention was to create a promenade as we approach the uh, shed, but I think my preference is more of the organic winding approach. I'm not sure if I want to keep the apples like this. I'm still considering of moving them. What do you think? Yeah, this is too uh, formal, I should say. On the second year, I also pl began planting ornamentals. That's why this, the front side of the shed is more of an Italian feel. <laughs> Cypresses. At first, I thought of planting just vegetables and, uh, let's say, fruits. But gradually, I planted more and more flowers. I fell in love with dahlias and I was able to make let's say flower arrangements for the chairs for for a year I think for 13 Sundays. If you're enjoying the beauty of these flowers, I'm sure you will enjoy the beauty of places, events, and cultures as well, like this at the other channel, my barrio, my mundo. Honestly, my interest is more in building rather than growing. <laughs> I'm more interested in building this shed, plus this pergola. Two years later came my man and Grace and I helped her, along with our cameraman, build her shed. I kept this open, this gate, as an access to her place. At first I was very enthusiastic, I wanted to grow as many crops as possible, but gradually I want to just plant my favorite vegetables. Let's say ampalaya or bitter gourd and corn, the rest just flowers. What do you think? Can you recommend uh, a crop which I can easily plant in this zone? I have the same weather as London. So if you're in the UK watching, what do you recommend? What can I easily plant <coughs> here in this zone? Again, thank you for joining me here on this journey.